Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. We are still taking a look at this, the Stealth Wealth, or if you really want it, it's the GMWB 5000 TB slash or dash one. I don't know. These model numbers on some of these are huge, but 5000 series, check out my last video where I kind of did a not a review of this, explaining what my experience has been with it and especially how it surprised me. Um, a pleasant surprise, a, a really pleasant surprise actually. But with that, what I wanna do in this video is a bunch of comparisons. So of course, I've held it up before to this blue TI camo OEMG. And what I've got now is I've got a bunch of categories of watches. So the first category of watches is gonna be other titanium Gs. Um, well, it's pretty much the one you see on me. I don't have the OG titanium and I don't have the new rainbow colored Iron Man-esque type titanium but it's these but i do have a bunch of titanium kits from aliexpress so we'll look at those and then the other ones that i'd like to take a look at are a bunch of other black g-shocks because when i hold this up it looks like a matte black but it kind of doesn't sometimes in real life or when i'm out and about and maybe in full sun and so i want to hold up different black g's so that you can see what this looks like compared to them and to see if, yeah, the, the what I'm talking about when I see a little bit of a reddish brown rust kind of hue in this, if that ever comes across in camera. I don't, I don't know if it does or not. If you own this watch, I've got friends, right, who own this watch. When y'all wear it out in full sun, do you ever get the visual impression that it's it's like a rust or a brownish black type of color? I'm really curious if it's just my eyes or my environment. I, I really am. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, please. But the other ones that we're then going to look at to wrap up the video are other watches, uh, specifically gold G-Shock squares or accents, uh, G-Shock squares that have gold accents. And so that's what I want to do. And then of course, I've got a surprise here because I picked up this watch roll and I've got something cool inside of there. So we'll look at that and that'll end up the video. All right, so first and foremost, let's look at titanium. Of course, I've already held it up. The, the blue, most people are aware of that. This and here, I'll put it over here. Let's put a uh, picture on the right of the OG camo. And then I'll just overlay a picture of the new rainbow colored one. And that's the other options. As far as I know, G-Shock currently only makes those four options. However, the new, well, let me keep this up here. The new rainbow looking one gives us an impression of how the different colors could be applied to the titanium meaning i foresee and me and a bunch of other g-shock enthusiasts really but we foresee the different colors in the rainbow eventually coming out as their own actual titanium g-shock so they've got red they've got gold they've got like silver they got a blue they got a slate gray looking color which actually kind of looks like this maybe i'm curious to hold it up i know the reds are different i've got a buddy of mine who's got the red stainless steel g-shock that's kind of like a wine burgundy color and he set it side by side next to the new rainbow one and there the reds are very very different but yeah the reds are very different so we'll see what happens with this all right so with that that's kind of what you're going to see in titanium unless you go to like an aliexpress or some other modding or aftermarket options and let's start taking a look at those so the first one that i have is just a raw titanium kit and you can see here that it's kind of silver in form and it's funny that when i put these next to each other you start to see how the black is more of a matte or muted black and i think it looks good i do i think that you'll i'll put it up next to a couple of others in a second to where we'll see it in better but yeah this is an aliexpress kit full titanium but in kind of the raw titanium look so we'll just stack these up 
Now, the next one, of course, I do have, when it comes to OG looking camo patterns, I do have this titanium AliExpress kit that is a homage to the OG. And you see it here, I've just got this 5610 module in it and I can't tell I'm holding that upside down. Again, I need an eye check and new glasses, but I do have this. So when it comes to holding these up, this is kind of what you'd see except for, you know, I don't know, when I see something like this, I always sing that Sesame Street song on my head. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is not the same. And of course, I'm talking about the AliExpress kit because these are OEM Casios. This one, well, it's an OEM module, but other than that, it's a mod and a kit. And I did a full review video in comparison of this to the others. This is nowhere near as good as the OEM Casio. It's just not. Now, it's a fraction of the price, so you can weigh out whether you want that or not, or you think it's a good value, even though these titanium kits aren't cheap on AliExpress, mind you. But yeah, it is an option, so you have that. Now, the next ones I'm gonna show you, let me just hold them up next to each other first. And what you're going to see is that I can't keep all of my watches charged. And so you'll see here, both of these need to get a little bit of sun and some love from the sun to charge back up. But basically what I've done here is I've got the blue and yellow modules in two black titanium kits from AliExpress. And here's what's funny about this. One of these I ordered, this one right here, and you'll notice that it has a kind of a shiny black bezel, but it has a matte black bracelet to it. And then my buddy had this one and he was originally going to let me just borrow it, but then he ended up selling it to me. He bought a different kit from AliExpress and it's backwards. It has a matte bezel and a shiny bracelet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap parts on these so that I can get an all shiny black titanium and an all matte black titanium. And I'm curious to see what that's going to end up looking like, even though again, you got to mix and match parts to be able to get that. It's so funny that he ordered a kit and it's like the complete opposite. And I don't know, I kind of thought all of those came out of the same factory. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But what's interesting about this is that this gold one here on the left with the matte black bezel really does look similar to the Stealth Wealth. It has a very similar kind of muted matte titanium, but still black hue to it. Now, of course, despite this one having the gold bezel ring right there, it does not have the gold accent buttons and things like that. You know, I could maybe swap it out with gold screws and things. I could mod some of that if I really wanted to. But yeah, I think that's interesting. And, and I think this might be another option if you wanted the aesthetic of a stealth wealth, but you didn't want to spend that much money. You could do a similar thing that I've done here on the left with the, the yellow module, with i'd get the matte one if you could the problem from ordering with aliexpress is you don't know which one you're going to get again we ordered these two and they're different so i don't know how that goes but anyway let me keep piling these up and we'll just keep the comparisons coming now the next ones that i want to compare it to are the all black g-shocks and most of these are going to be like your stainless steel metal so let me see here let me find the original Okay, this is the original OEM 5000 series, all black, and you can see it's kind of a shiny black. Now, I talked about this in my other videos. Your standard Gs do have the color disparity that these ones back here from AliExpress do, just in a less subtle form, um, or I'm sorry, in a more subtle form. But right here, you could see that the bezel is more of a shine and then there's more of a brush or a muted texture on the bracelet. And that's the same on the gold and some of the others. But when you look at this here, it helps you see all the more that the Stealth Wealth is really matte. Like it's really matte. Like even to the brushing here, the Stealth Wealth is significantly more matte in person. It just doesn't reflect light as much and it gives it a more muted, tone and again i think that's goes why it's called the stealth wealth 
it really does fly under the radar. It really doesn't shine. It doesn't do any of those things that even this normal black one does. And so, yeah, you can see the difference in the positive and negative display, even though they both have the 5000 series movement, but the 3459 module, I mean, so this is this is just another one. Let me just keep stacking these up. Sorry, I got watches all over the place. Here's one that I wanted to show you. This is a kit, even though I did have a video of the actual OEM limited edition with the, the IP aged patina G, but you will notice that when I put these next to each other, the muted texture or the matte black finish on the Stealth Wealth is not the same as the IP aged patina. And so when I say that it's muted, it's not aged. It still looks brand new. And you can really see that come across when I show these side by side, even though this is the AliExpress kit on the left. The AliExpress kit for this and the G patina, the actual OEM one, um, I've got a side by side video of that. Go check that out and you can see the subtle differences that they have. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. The Stealth Wealth, it, it doesn't look old, but it is muted. So there's that. Now, another one that I have, this is a, a what they call a cool black on the AliExpress website. This is another AliExpress kit, and this is a cool black. And this one almost has a tone that I would call like pewter or maybe like a gunmetal black. That's what I would call this. They call it cool black. And again, I wanted to just show you the side by side to see, yeah, what is that? You see the differences there? The left one, even though it's a cool black, still has a shine to it. And whatever they did with this Stealth Wealth, it, it's kind of like, you know, what's the SR-71 plane that is can defeat radar detection? It It's kind of like that. It just, it reflects light. It doesn't shine or reflect the light. And I think that that's really cool. And so, yeah, so cool black on the left, AliExpress kit. I've got, you know, this awesome purple module in it, but yeah, so there's more and more options. Let's keep it trucking now. So the last one I wanted to show you kind of in that black metal G series is this one. This, I don't know the model number for it. If we can get it, I'll pull it up in the video, but this is the one that comes with like the metal head and it's got the much simpler module in it. It does not come with the 5000 series module. This one does come with the cool camo pattern, which is kind of like the one I'm wearing, right? It's It's got the metal head. It came with a resin strap. It, this is the white camo. This one's the black and green camo with the negative display. And I have put it on this V2 combi and but one of the reasons why I wanted to show it was not necessarily just for the head, but really for this V2 combi, because you can see that the titanium has a very similar overall aesthetic to the V2 combi, which I think the V2 combi carries a little bit more um, classic styling from the Metal Gs than the V1 does, even though I can't really wear the V2 on anything other than this style of watch because I'm in between links. So I end up having to wear the V1 more. And so I've kind of just gravitated kind of my love and affection towards it because it works for me. But the V2 combi, nonetheless, you look at that in the light, it has the very gray matte kind of appearance that this Stealth Wealth Titanium does, but it's just in, you know, resin instead of titanium. And so I thought that was cool. I just kind of wanted to show you that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the last couple of minutes and we're going to buzz through a bunch of different watches that I think carry a similar aesthetic to the Stealth Wealth in the sense that they have a gold accent or a gold pop of color to them. So let's start first and foremost with whatever this thing is. I don't know. These are all the anniversary series ones. I don't know any of the model numbers for these. I've just kind of been collecting them and putting them aside. And so, yeah, we'll put the, the model numbers up if we've got them. But this has a very similar vibe to it. In fact, I would go so far as to say that this 35th anniversary series one right here was probably the inspiration for making this titanium one in the design and aesthetic that they did. These are so similar. Now, I will say that the movement, the left one, the display has a shine to it and it's very interesting to see in person where the stealth wealth does not have that 
but that kind of makes sense with the stealth wealth trying to fly a little under the radar. This one is of course all resin. It's got the gold accents, gold buttons, just like the stealth wealth does. And so, yeah, I think these are the most common or the most similar. And so I wanted to share them, even though this one's not metal. All right, well, let's keep going here. I have that exact same 35th, I think it's the 35th anniversary series one. See, I still got the tag on that one, so I can actually, let's see if I can get that to zoom in. There's the model number for this one. And um, I, these are some of these, I keep them unworn and just as collectibles, but this is the round G. And so we've got, oh, let's see if I can get them all up in here. Here we go. Nope, is that upside down? It is, all right. So here you see square, square, and round. Well, round, square, is that a thing? What are these called on the left? I don't collect them. In fact, this is the only one like this that I have. And the reason that I got it was because I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two watches, and I'll still get around to doing that one of these days. But I did want to show, just as far as yellow accents go, or gold accents go, that there are other options. So if the round square is your thing, well, then you can go for that. Is that a thing, round square? I don't know. Um, let's see here, another, oh, another red accent. I think this is also maybe an anniversary series one. I don't know, it's red, but it has the same golden kind of display. And so if you want something that maybe has the gold accents, but isn't black, there are other options out there here's a red one and then here's another one i'll show this is the clear one so this is kind of like the one that i'm wearing from a clear aspect but it's clear and gold and so this also was a 30 i don't know something anniversary series you can see this one's unworn oh i still got the tag on it Let's see if i can hold that up will that will that get the camera in frame no it won't it won't and i've got hands full of watches so i can't even zoom in so yeah i'm sorry about that i hope that didn't make anybody motion sick while i was moving that around but this is another option you can see we've got the gold one here and then let me just hold up another option you can buy band and bezel kits and lesser expensive modules and create your own if you really want to so you can see here i've got this one it's got the gold mirrored accent and yeah, I just plopped it in this clear case, basically making an inexpensive version of this one here in the middle. And so there's lots and lots of options if that's the aesthetic or goal that you're going for. If you want gold. All right, my friend. So I've got a little B-roll cut in here because I forgot to open up the one thing that I wanted to show y'all the most when it comes to gold accents and it's what's in this case. So this has got gold accents, but you can see it's kind of muted. Let me set this down here. I was able to pick up one of these Mirage watch travel cases. And yes, it is all bright gold with the pattern. I don't even know what this stitching is called, but what I want to do is open it up. So if you really want gold accented stuff and none of the ones prior, gave you what you were looking for, then I'm going to recommend going with one of these options. So of course, in the middle, we have the OEM gold, what we call the bling master on the right over here is the AliExpress kit. My wife often refers to these as either Mr. T or what is it? R2D2 or C3PO. I don't know, whichever the gold one was, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. So let me know what that is. But yeah, we've got, we've got Mr. T, we've got C-3PO or R2-D2, whichever one that is. And then of course we've got the all gold Skimi shock. And I've also got the all gold Skimi kind of AE-1200 homage, right? The world timer. But of course this was only three watches. And so I couldn't put it in here as well. I wanted to, I did find out this week that mirage is making a four watch roll like this a watch travel case i don't know that i'm gonna get one in or i don't know when but i will do a video on all these mirage cases sometime soon anyway if you want gold accented stuff and if this stealth wealth isn't what you're looking for to fly under the radar and you want to just bling out 
then I would highly recommend this watch roll any of these watches and it'll probably get the job done for you. Anyway, back to the regular video now. So the last two I'm going to hold up real quick are just, I talked about this one in the other video. This is the 5,000, uh, something. I don't know. This one is very comparable. I think in the way that it flies under the radar, the same way that the stealth wall does. So I think this one on the left is, is a little bit more expensive. I think they're fetching premiums that make them even more expensive. And so I've got this one. I got it from a buddy of mine and it's in my collection. It has been worn, even though it's like new and I, I haven't really worn it yet. I kind of want to put it on a combi, but I don't know that I can. So then I was going to look up to see one of my bracelet options, maybe off of AliExpress. So this is another one. This is the 5,000 and how it kind of compares and contrasts to the stealth wealth. You can see that. And then the last option in the same way that this isn't really black. And that's what I've been talking about the whole time. I want to say it's kind of like this carbon fiber, but not really this carbon fiber looks black, but it's not really black. And, and so it's just another option that you can see the difference or how that's not black. So hopefully I can roll in some pictures of what this stealth wealth looks like in person and out in the sun. Let me know down in the comment section. Anybody else get a brownish, amberish, orangish, rust kind of look vibe when on this black, when they look at it out in the sun? I do. I do. But it's not that it's a bothersome. It's not that I dislike it because of that. It's just something that I've noticed. I've noticed that my black Zen 104 here, I've got it sitting right here. Hold on. My black Zen 104 did that as well. I had it on the brown leather that came stock with it. This is a strap goat strap that I fitted to it. But my, this black dial used to look brown anytime I'd be out and about or in public or when it would hit full sun. And I switched it over to this bracelet and it no longer does it. So I think that it was somehow reflecting the brown accents from the leather into the dial. A buddy of mine said he had the exact same experience with the Sarb here. Hold on. I've just got all these watches laying around because I just got a bunch of filming to do. But he said this is his old Sarb. He said he had the same type of thing with this Sarb. I don't know if he had it on this collar red blue bracelet or another one or like a uh, straps. But yeah, he said that this Sarb, even though it's kind of flat black, it would look brown out in the sunlight. And my Zen does that also, or at least it used to for me. I've not noticed it with the Sarb though. So it's weird how this works, but the Stealth Wealth does give me that. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Light theory. If you're a light spectrum expert or scientist and you know, I would love to learn about that. All right. Anyway, this video has gone on way too long. We will put chapter headings down in the description so that you can toggle back and forth to see whatever model you specifically want to see side by side next to this stealth wealth. But other than that, we'll call this one a wraps until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters and that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane. Mm -hmm.